We're now going to move on to looping in PHP and the first loop we're going to look at deals exclusively with uh, items that can be iterated across. So for example, data structures like arrays, we can iterate through each item in an array and we can do something with that item. So the first thing we're going to do is just build a quick array with a few names in it, a single dimensional array, and then we'll go ahead and loop through and see what we can do here. So I'm going to create a variable called names, and that's going to be an array. And inside of this is going to be a few names. So if we just fill this in with a few names here. Okay, so now that we have this array, what can we do? Well, let's go ahead and use the for each construct. Um, what this allows us to do is pass in the item that we want to iterate through, so the, the item that contains items, so i.e. an array, um, and then we choose what name we want to give each of those items for each loop. So if we were to pass in this names array here, this is going to loop three times because there are three elements in this array. So I'm gonna say for each names, as, so that as keyword allows us to define what we want each of these items to be called for each iteration. So I'm gonna just say name. It's usually a good idea to use a plural uh, and then a singular. What I can then do is I can go ahead and echo name and I'm just gonna append on a break after that. So let's go ahead and look at what this looks like in the browser. You can see that now we just have uh, in our source code the value Alex, break, Billy, break, Dale, and then a break at the end. So all that's really done is, is it's gone through each of these items and it's broken it up. Now, what we can also do is we can determine what position we're at in this array. And we do this by using an index and then we use um, this to, to, to basically just assign or note that uh, we have an index and the value. So we have a basically a key and a value. So this will now represent the key of the array. So this will be 0, 1, 2, and this will be the value of the array. So I can say here, index space, we could put a little dot there, name and then break. So we're going to get zero dot space, then the name, then a break. So if we go ahead and preview this, we see that this changes and gives us the key as well, the index as well. So now what we can do is, for example, we could say index plus one, and that would give us a sort of one, two, three effect. So we can do things with that index within this loop as well. What we could also do is perhaps do something like um, a little check here to say if um, index doesn't equal the count of names, then we want to echo a break. Now what this will do is um, previously when we looked at the source code we had a break after the last result Now when I refresh again now we get the same result but we don't get a, oh we do, uh, let's just take a look ah there we go sorry index plus one so if index plus one doesn't equal the count of names then we want to add a break so what we can then do is remove the need for the last break there now there are other ways of doing that but all we're really doing here is demonstrating how we can loop through a list of uh, array items using for each uh, by grabbing the index doing something with the index and uh, outputting this data